Hello and welcome to this low-level JavaScript mini-series all about the bits and bytes of binary. In a practical sense, it will be useful for us to be able to turn a regular JavaScript number into our binary representation. We've already seen how to go from a bit array to a JavaScript number, but how can we approach this from the other way around? It turns out it's pretty straightforward. Let's write a static method on our binary class called from unsigned. We'll see why this name is used in a later episode. We'll first perform a sanity check, asserting that we were in fact given an integer, otherwise we'll throw an error. And something very important to note here is that zero is actually a special case here. If n happens to be zero, then we can just return a new binary number whose input bit array just contains zero. And we can take an array of bits starting out empty. And what we're going to do is essentially find the nearest power of two below our input number, number in progress and iterate while that power of two is greater than or equal to zero. Then we'll make a copy of n called number in progress, since it's good practice not to modify argument variables of a method or a function directly. In each iteration, we'll check if number in progress is greater than or equal to our nearest power of two. If it is, then we can push a one into our bits array and decrease the number in progress by the nearest power of two. And if not, then we'll simply push a zero. At the end of iteration, we can decrement the nearest power of two by one. So as we're iterating, we're building up a bit array by checking to see if the power of two that we have at each step is a component of our binary number. We can try this out now. So if we log binary dot from unsigned 10, then we'd expect to see 1010, since 10 is made up of an 8 and a 2. And that is indeed what we see. And we could do this another way by first creating a binary using from unsigned and turn it back into a number using to number. which correctly, but unexcitingly, returns us back the original input. So to recap, we can create an instance of our binary class by providing a regular number to from unsigned. Converting the number to a bit array is done with an iterative algorithm that finds the minimal set of components. This means for a number like 10, we will get back a four bit representation which makes the binary representation much more flexible than anything else that JavaScript currently has to offer us. 